hardline judge Ibrahim Rahisi secured a landslide win in Iran's presidential election on Saturday. With some 90% of votes counted, Raisi's tally was 17.8 million votes out of 28.6 million ballots cast. Interior Ministry official Jaman Orfi told a televised news conference. That gives him an unassailable lead. Outgoing President Hassan Rouhani visited Raisi at his offices to congratulate him and said he has, quote, a heavy responsibility. I have no doubt that the people will support his legitimate government so that their interests can be best implemented and operationalized. Raisi, a 60-year-old Shiite cleric, was widely tipped to win, having been endorsed by Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. But dissidents at home and abroad say popular anger over economic hardships and curbs on freedoms kept many Iranians at home. Turnout was reported to be 48 percent, slightly higher than analysts had predicted, but lower than the 73.3 percent in 2017. Another deterrent for pro-reform voters was a lack of choice. That's after the Guardian Council, a hardline election body, barred heavyweight moderates and conservatives from standing. A U.S. State Department spokesman on Friday said Iranians have been denied their right to choose their own leaders in a free and fair election. Raisi was placed under U.S. sanctions a few months after being appointed judiciary chief in 2019. That was for alleged human rights violations, including the executions of thousands of political prisoners in the 1980s. Iran has never acknowledged the mass executions and Raisi has never addressed the allegations about his role. The election comes at a critical time. Iran and six major powers are in talks to revive their 2015 nuclear deal. Raisi offered no detailed political or economic program during his election campaign, but has backed the revival of the nuclear pact, a development that will bring an easing of US sanctions that have crushed Iran's economy.